Hi, so I'm Delilah. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Manteca, California. I'm a baker, an entrepreneur, a pastry chef, an artist, and I own Delilah's Cakery. So if we want to get technical, we've been open since 2017 when I started in my house. Um, after that, I got tired of working in the house and then I just went, I saved my money and we opened up storefront in 2018 in downtown Stockton and then we moved to our current location. So in total about three years, I would say, yeah. What inspired me to open a bakery? Honestly, I've been baking since probably I was like three with my grandma, um, just in the kitchen, helping her make rolls or whatever she could do to keep a three-year-old busy. And I just really enjoyed it from then on. Uh, when I was in high school, I did like, you know, that research paper and I, I did it on being a, a, a pastry chef. And then I went to my first year of college and I was like, honestly, I told my mom, this, this isn't for me. And I went for like forensic biology. So this is like completely, totally opposite, opposite spectrum. So I just, I really love food and I really liked art and being able to combine the two and you can legitimately make art pieces from cake. And so that that's ultimately what drove me in this direction. I know what I'm offering isn't here. Like for young adults, there's, there's not a lot of cool stuff out here for us. And I was like, well, let me bring something that I would have liked when I was growing up into the area. So I just kind of went with it and I wanted to bring something that we don't really have here in Stockton. So that that's ultimately what drove my decision. I want to say instant gratification. It was kind of cool when I posted something on Twitter and it took off and it just kind of went viral. Um, being able to, like I said, provide something to young adults that we, just kids in general that we don't have. Like this is, a, this, it's an experience, like it's fun. Like the artistry of the cupcakes, the, the cake jars, like you're not getting that anywhere else. And just, I want to say having, I've had a few young women like reach out to me, like this is what I want to do. Like, I think it's cool that you're being able to, to do your passion and your dream and actually you went for it. And most people don't go for it. and. I think that's a blessing like to have people kind of look up to you it it's kind of surreal but it's it's nice to have people look up to you and like you can inspire somebody because I was in that spot at once looking at other people and like I want to do what you're doing and it, it's, it's kind of cool I think it's a blessing like and, it, and it's it's all po positive energy it's like you're being recognized for something, something good in the community, being able to provide like fun. Like it, it's fun here. Like I get people like coming here and like their eyes are like bigger than their head. And it's honestly, it's, it's cool. Um, my mom and my grandma, um, they instilled from early on a really good worth ethic inside of me. Um, they are very, if you want it, you gotta get it. You gotta work for it. If I didn't see that growing up, I wouldn't have that worth ethic and I don't think I would be anywhere close to where I was where I am today um, you know running a shop it's you're here 24 7 whether you have a day off or not you're here and if you don't care about something that's something else if you care about it you take care of it so and I care a lot about my shop so I just I give it 110 and honestly without them and I, I wouldn't be nowhere. Like, it's just a big thank you to them. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so, um, they're amazing. My grandma taught me, if you build it, they'll come. If you, if you build it and it's working and you get a couple people that like it, they're gonna tell a couple more people and then they're gonna like it. just, don't give up. I don't care how hard it gets. It's been a million and one times I didn't cry or I'm over it and I don't wanna do this anymore. And then I'm like, girl, you done came too far. And you done did work too hard. Just keep going. I've had more success than I would have ever imagined in the last year and a half. Um, I've been on the news a few times. I think it's pretty dope just having people say I'm proud of you that don't even know me you know girls saying like I want to do what you're doing that I feel like to me that's success in itself and then I take that and like I give back to the community whether it be donating the cupcakes to the homeless or um, I want to actually 
talked to the lady at the foster home up the, up the, up the way and I want to work with the foster kids and teach them how to decorate and stuff. So it's like, okay, I've had success now. Let me give it back, you know, so yeah. A piece of advice that I could give is, you know, save your money. Um, don't let nobody tell you, oh, that's, 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 that's just a dream. Like, it's not realistic. If I would have stayed with, like, it's not realistic, I wouldn't be here. Like, save your money, and even if you don't feel ready, just jump both feet into the pond and just, just do it. Uh, just, just do it. And that's the biggest piece of advice, is don't quit, and don't let nobody tell you you cannot. I had a lot of people tell me I could not, and I did. And here we are. <laughs>